So today you're going to do a lot of deep moving stretches. We'll stay busy. Um, so let's just come to any place in your mat where you have a good view. I'll actually face you for the first few things and then I'll turn to the side. I'm going to go at a pretty aggressive pace. Um, just want to get some hip stretching, shoulder movement, and a lot of work also. So work, stretch, work, stretch. And that's it. Let's come right up with a side bend. Just pick an arm to take a reach over to the side. And then switch that reach. Side bend here. Again, at that pace, lift your arm and reach overhead for four counts. And then switch that to the other side. Four, three, two. Go right to two counts of each. So now one, two, and one, two. Four more. One, two reach one and two reach over to the side and the last time here and now let's take both arms overhead so you'll come up and take a reach up to the ceiling and then up and back okay and side bend again and take an arm to reach other side one two last time for the two counts and reach so now both arms up for four three lift up and back now Hold for four more. Three. All right, take an inhale, then exhale, and come forward right to where you start to feel your hamstring stretch. Right, and then both hands down. And you can gauge yourself here. I always love a heel pickup and a sway side to side. Just start loosening up. Let your head come down. Let your neck relax. Eight more counts here, eight. And like I said, I wanna be moving pretty quickly soon here, so we're gonna warm up real quick. All right, roll this up, roll up. Okay, and now let's start with those knee lifts and take your arms right at chest height here. And squeeze and activate that chest a little bit. Wake it up, we have five more, last four, three. Come to a stop, both arms right up. Reach up and back. Breathe out. And four, three, two, and then center. We're just gonna take the legs a little wider here and take an opposite arm across to a leg. Four more. Last four, three, two, and now round right in front. And you're gonna stop about chest height. Press both hands wide open. Tuck your chin, arch your back. And then you get that tuck the tailbone kind of effect. And then open up and flex your spine. And now round again. We're gonna go a little bit deeper. Try to go out from your belly button height and press and tuck your chin and round. And then open. All right, now your deepest one yet. Come down, maybe towards the ground or touching. And then arch that back. And then round open. Push your chest forward, elbows coming towards your backside. Okay, and then reach up again. Let's take an arm for that side bend. And the other. Okay, last two. Reach over. One more. And then I'm going to turn to the side here. I'm going to go right to the front of the mat. Again, I want to go pretty quick today. So we're going to come right here, take an inhale up, soft little bend. Okay, and up and back, last time here right down towards those toes or to the mat. Okay, so here, take your chin and try to tuck your chin a little bit. Get a little bit of a base of the head stretch there, a neck stretch. Okay, now deepen your sit a little bit here. So you're going to sit actually. Um, so heels down and take the arms up and try to get those arms Feel the length of your spine and make your fingertips reach that length. Lengthen your back. Last four, three, two, and then stand up from here and reach up and back. Okay, so that was a slow version. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Come down and touch those toes or the floor or both. And try to straighten your legs here. And now lift your chin a little. And draw through the butt and sit and lift the arms up right by your side. And then standing 
Coming up, reach up and back for three, two, come forward again, down to the ground, straighten the legs. We're going to add one more thing. You're going to take a half a little drop, walk your hands out, maybe one hand distance farther, and then try to lift your chin and straighten the legs. And then sit back down, arms come up, stand up, reach up and back, come down again, folding forward again, and then hands out a little farther, drop again, and then lift again, lift your chin up, and then sit down, arms come up, and rise up, stand up. Okay, now you're going to come all the way down, all the way down, both hands down, step back to your plank. And also a little different today, I'm going to do some core, some core work early on. So here, I always keep my groups here for a lengthy bit when we're starting a class because this fires up your whole front side. Hold that perfect plank. Squeeze everything from shoulders, stomach, quads. You'll feel this in the fronts of your lower legs also. Five more counts. Four, three, two. Now you're going to step forward, both hands around your, or both feet around your hands, and then stand up. And we're going to just make that into more of a set here. Come back down, but this time your legs are spread. So just like you did earlier with your feet closed, same thing. So it's just a wider stance here. Take a little bit of a sit, put your hands out a little farther, and then stand up again or straighten those legs again. Lift your chin. And now you're going to sit all the way down. So you just did this earlier. Now your arms are coming back up, and you're in a wider stance this time. A wider stance. And now stand up. Okay, and again, reach up and back, release, four, three, two, hands come down, fold forward, step or jump to plank, for three, two, now step right back up, and then straighten the legs, get that hamstring stretch, half a little drop, so you can walk your hands out a little farther away, and then straighten again, lift your chin, Sit down, arms up, stand up, reach up and back. Again, you're going to do that a little quicker. Fold forward, exhale, straight legs, hands could come right down between your legs or a little forward. We're going to get forward again anyway. Okay, half a little drop, walk your hands out, straighten again, lift your chin. And sit down, arms up. After this one, we're going to be coming back to that plank. Stand up, reach up and back. Okay, and then fold down again. Step or jump to plank. Okay, now let's just move this side side with your taps here. Just get a toe tap in your plank. And you do not have to add these plank taps you can add them if you have great control of your plank. If not, just stay right here. You can modify to the knees. Do four more taps. Three, two, and now you're going to go right to a downward dog. So if your feet are too far back, you can walk your feet forward. Feel out your downward dog. It's your very first one. I love pedal pushing. I like heel pickups here because you can sway side to side. Okay, now smooth throw those arms and core come to plank. Hold. So you're going to put your whole little warm up here together. Step wide up to the front of the mat. Okay, and then take an exhale, straighten the legs. Breathe out. Get your hands a little deeper. You could also let your head come down here if you're comfortable. All right, and then you have a half a little sit. 
Walk the hands out a little farther, lift your chin, and then straighten those legs again. And then sit, arms come up. And stand this up. You can reach up and back. And then fold again, hands right down, step or jump to your plank. Hold eight. Last four, three, optional to do your side taps here with those toes. Last four, three, two, feet right in line with that plank and now press back to your downward dog. All right, here in your downward dog, let's try to get your feet in a position where you definitely feel your calves stretching. You want to feel that stretch. You want to tap into those hamstrings. You want your middle fingers facing forward. Get a nice spread on your palms. So you have a good base underneath you. You're trying to stretch up as high as you can here through the backs of the legs. Lengthen your spine. Again, feel that length. And a lot of times it takes a few sets for your back to not round like this. Try to get your back so that you're flattening or straightening and lengthening at the same time. Okay, now let's move this to a crouch here. We're going to crouch the knees right over the floor. So your legs are hovering and your arms are long. Press your heels back down to the floor. Exhale, breathe. We're gonna do this four more times. Crouch down, four, three, nice long arms. And press back with those heels for three, two, three more times. Cover those knees over the floor. Crouch, get long through the arms. Heels down, four, three, two, two more times. Crouch, down. Press those heels towards the ground. If they don't touch, don't worry. One more set, fifth set. Crouch. Straighten back to downward dog. And now pull yourself back to plank. And step wide around those hands. Okay, now you're going to stay here and try to get a hip stretch here. Um, I'm going to turn to the front in a second. So try to get your hands um, up off the floor. If you cannot put your hands down, you can always come up and break this stretch by standing in a stumped squat or a half squat. You're to the side here, you can see you want your back straight, chest up. And I've got my arm, my um, elbow on the insides of my legs, I'm really trying not to cave and round. And I'm going to turn to the front for you. All right, just give it eight more counts, and we're going to stand up and reach up and back again, just like you've been doing. In five, four, three, two, stand up and reach up and back. All right, now let's add a little movement here. Take an arm with a reach, side bend, and the other for four, three, two, and now two counts like that. One, two, switch, and then opposite leg to arm. Twist right over, twist. Twist, pull that back arm back a little more. Last four, three, two, sit again, stretch, sit. We wanna just wake up some um, agility here because I'm gonna do some combinations. We're gonna be down and coming up into circle. So let's stand up here, okay? And let's get your left leg Stationary, squeeze your glute, flex your quad, take your right leg up, and we're going to come trying, we're going to try to pulse this leg up. So heat up that front top of the leg. Last six, try to be aware of standing straight, shoulders straight, chest lifted. Okay, and now right into circles. So circle this out. Circle. Oftentimes you see people do hip circles and they go like this. Don't do that. You want to stretch that leg in one part there, in that circle. That 
socket area. Last two. One, two. One more. Okay, just switch, check in with your other side. Right leg is stationary now, make sure you're straight. And then left leg comes up, try to pulse it. Last six, five, and then we're gonna go right into those circles. In three, two, try to find your hip circle. And if you wanna modify, just start lighter and lower down here. And you take what I call a recovery tap. Gives you a split second to reset. As you get more comfortable, make them bigger, more fluid in the motion. Do two more. Last two, one more. Okay, now I'm gonna turn to the side, front of the mat. Let's take a sit here with your arms straight out, a half a little sit. And now take your arms up. And then both hands down, straighten. You're straightening your legs. And then both hands down, you're gonna do a half a drop on those, on those heels there to a sit, step, or jump back to your plank. So we're right back here, we wanna revisit that nice plank line. Downward dog. Crouch here, so that was when we hovered our knees, drive those arms long, straighten back to downward dog. Crouch again, two more. Crouch, get long on those arms. Heels down, lengthen those legs and backs. One more set, crouch, four, three, two. Straighten for your stretch. Okay, back to plank, four counts. Three, two, step wide, wide up to the front of the mat. Sit down and stretch those hips. Seven, six, last four, three, two, stand up, reach up, and back. My legs are still wide here, and let's come for that standing split stretch. Exhale, come down, touch the floor, straighten the legs. And then one more sit, take your stretch, last eight, six, Five, four, three, two, and both hands down. Step or jump to plank. And let's hit those toe taps one more time, side to side. Last eight, seven, six. You have four, three, two. We're gonna take one leg, step it forward, right in between your hands. So I'm gonna start on my left leg. Just remember to stay with one leg this whole set and take that back knee down, foot flat to the floor. Take both arms up and reach up and back. You feel an amazing quad through hip flexor stretch on your back leg, on your back leg. You'll feel that. Okay, now we're gonna take that back leg. So for me, it's my right arm. I'm gonna take my right arm to the side and then open and try to follow a line over my back leg here. One arm up to the ceiling, one arm over that leg. Last four, three, two. Now take that back arm and we're gonna put it right on the floor and pick up that knee and twist open. That feels really good. It's my first stretch today. Hopefully you're feeling that. Take that leg back down, foot back to the floor, both arms up, reach up and back. And then take, for me, it's my left arm to the ceiling. My right arm is coming down and then turn it open to that back leg. Take that back arm coming right back down to the mat that left knee or my back knee comes up and then I'm twisting over my left leg. Think long lines to the ceiling. Okay, now we're gonna do two sets a little faster. Both hands down, put that knee down, foot down, reach up and back. So you want your back leg, that hip flexor, really getting those nice stretches. One arm to the ceiling, that same arm with the back leg comes opening behind you. 
take that arm, bring it to the floor. That knee comes up and you can take a twisting lunge stretch. If I try to follow my stretch line, I'm looking at my hand, trying to reach up while I'm still feeling the benefits of my stationary leg and my stretching leg there. And one more time, take both hands down, take that knee up, top of the foot compressing, and reach up and back. And then that tall arm tilt still to the ceiling, twist open behind you, bring that arm sweeping back down to the mat, and take a lift here. Okay, and now we're going to take both hands down. You're going to step back into that plank. We have three, two, downward dog now for eight counts. Last four, three, two, plank again, hold. So I want to put a little bit of upper body work in here. You can hold your plank or come to the knees. Okay, and now down for two push-ups. Plank, downward dog, eight counts. Five, four, remember to chest your press, uh, press your chest forward. Now back to plank, push-ups. You can do two, or come to the knees in a modified push-up. Plank, downward dog, eight. I'm just going to do a third and final set there, so you get just a few push-ups for that chest. Back down to your plank line for four counts, and pick your push-up position, knees or toes. Two push-ups. Back to your plank. Downward dog, last time. Okay, now back to plank. Step your same foot through. So remember, I said you want to wake up your agility here. So we're going to take your back leg and do the same stretch, but higher. And we're going to loosen up that side. So for me, it's my right leg that's back. We're going to do some hip circles, just like you practice. Okay, so let's come down, have a little drop, stand up and try to hold that leg up. So I'm going to turn to the front here. Okay, so in this position, or hands here, or here, circle now. Remember to put your hands wherever you want and do your type of hip circle. It might be lower right here. You might have your hands here, or hands here. Okay, and if you're just getting tired and just can't get those circles out, you could do a hinge to the side. Last three, two, okay, both arms are up. And we're going to come folding forward again. Step that same leg back. Stretch and reach. And again, take a half a little drop. Rise up through that front leg. So your stretching leg is still doing a little bit of holding here. And now go on into your circles. Last two. Once more. Both feet down, fold forward, step that same leg back, raise your arms up, okay, half a little drop, use that front leg, stand up, and then hip circles. This is your last set here, and we're going to switch sides. Okay, set your foot down, let's inhale up. And fold forward, hands down, and you're going to step all the way back or jump back to your plank, either one. Last three counts, two, step the opposite leg through now. So for me, it's my right foot forward. You're taking that knee down, flat foot back there, top of the foot to the mat, reach up. This is your first time visiting deeper stretches on this side and this hip flexor area. So you can stay pretty modified. If you're ready and warm, you can start reaching back, but you get that opportunity in a couple more rounds. 
Right now, for me, it's my right arm staying up, my left arm is coming down, and I'm twisting open and trying to follow my leg line long on that mat. Think perpendicular arms. Don't let your shoulders hunch up. Stay nice and clean here. Four, three, two. That arm is coming down to the floor. Pick up that back foot, twist open, and find your twisting lunge stretch here. You're doing this three more times. One slower pace like this, and the second two rounds are faster. Take that knee, both hands come down, foot to the floor, reach up and back. One arm to the ceiling, the leg and arm that match up back here, line them up. Last four, three, two, bring that arm back down, leg picks up, other arm comes back up to that ceiling and stretch. You have five counts. So we move this along a little faster. Both hands down, take that knee on top of the foot down. Breathe out, reach up or up and back. Keep that one arm up, other arm opens long. Bring it to the mat. Pick up that back leg and reach to the ceiling while pressing your hip to the floor. Right, both hands down, fourth final set. Foot down, arms up, breathe. One arm up, one arm long. That long arm back to the mat. Now you have a perpendicular arm line to the floor. Press your hip to the floor while you're reaching to the ceiling. Okay, both hands down. Step back to that plank. Remember this set where we did downward dog with a couple push-ups married in between. Go back to your downward dog. This is feeling better and better for me. Hopefully you're feeling looser. Come back to your plank. Stomach tight, right? Knees or toes. Take two push-ups. Come back to your plank when you are done. Use that control. Demonstrate your control. Back to your downward dog. Arms long. Feet getting lower. Backs of your legs getting longer. Feel the difference. Back to your plank line. Tighten the front side. Knees or toes. Take two more push-ups. Or you can hold your plank. Definitely come up to plank now. Four, three, third and final set. Downward dog. Back to your plank line. Push-ups. Try to push out two. Any variation that you need to. Plank. Four, three, two, downward dog. Last time. Okay, so we still have to, now that our um, both hips and hip flexors should be much looser, come back to plank, step that same leg through. And remember, we want to be able to move and get a stretch at the same time. So let's come down here in that long reach up to the ceiling. Okay, now you're gonna do half a drop and come up. I will turn to the front again. So you're here, right? You could put your arms here, remember? We're here. Do what you can with this leg that you have lifted. For me, it's my left, but you're seeing the right. Okay, last four, three, two, foot comes down, reach up, fold forward, Step that leg back. Breathe out, don't hold your breath. Breathe this stretch up and maybe up and back a little. You still want to be getting that hip flexor. Okay, now straighten up a little if you did reach back. Drop and then stand up so you can do any type of stand here to hold. Find those hip circles. Four. 
three. Last two. Try to get one more, whatever you're doing, foot can come down. And then you fold right over again, reach for that floor. Step that same leg back, third and final set. Reach up. Still stretching right through here, or up and back. Now straighten up again if you did through that torso line, half a drop. Rise up, and then find those hip circles. Last two. One more. Good, both feet down. So let's come right down to the floor here. Um, as I said, I wanted to do core. <laughs> pretty early on, it's not pretty early now that we've done a lot. So you're gonna sit up. And notice when you sit, this feels good, especially if you've got a hold on the sides of you. Um, you wanna be able to activate your V here. Get that V, here's your pivot point, that deep point and then make a V on your profile there. there so I'm gonna put my heels down, legs pretty narrow. The more narrow and tight you hold it, more inner thigh you'll get. So you're going to come back and find your V here. Um, what you don't want is your stomach arching too much. You'll squeeze and hyperextend your back. Keep that core, keep that belly button stuck to your spine, chest up. If you need a little assist, go right there. Okay, so you modify by coming up and taking a break or widen your feet a little. Okay, so I'm gonna take my arms out here and try to get my arms long over the floor. And keep this whole area in mind. Definitely chest too. All you're gonna try to do is pick up one leg, one leg here. And you've done a lot of hip flexor work, so that might be a doozy. Four, three, two, switch sides. It's real slow and controlled. It is, does not mean that it's easy. Switch sides again. Lift, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, one more switch of each. Four, three, Two, switch, last one. And we're gonna be coming down. Come all the way down, legs at 90 here. And I'm gonna put one foot in, one foot out. To reach the other arm long. And then switch. So I've got my feet pointed here. So you can stay here with this. If you need a break, you put your head down. So this will be level one. Feel it out right here. I'm alternating a reach and staying long over that mat. Level two, pick up your head. And you can start moving at your own pace. Level three, you're coming up here. And switch. Okay, so I'm doing is sitting up and switching that touch to the opposite heel. One, two, one, two. Again, one, Two, let's hit four more of these. One, two, anywhere you are, you can drop back down to the mat at any time. Last two, one more. Okay, now we're gonna come right back up. Already, because I feel like moving. So we're gonna come down here with an, is an inhale up, inhale here, come up. Nothing feels as good as starting over again from the top, so let's fold over here because it makes you realize each round that it's worth it and something is loosening up every time. Step or jump back to your plank. Downward dog. I want you to step the first leg you worked with forward. That first leg that you worked with. Let's go over everything. Drop that knee. Okay, both arms up and back. And then take that leg that's in the front. Remember that one's staying to the ceiling. Open the other long over your mat behind you. Bring that arm back to the floor. Take your twisting lunge here. So this is where we're going to add on. 
I love balance work. So we're gonna take this both hands down to the front of the mat, and you're gonna put your hands a little more forward than your feet. You're going to come forward and connect at the ankle. So I'm going to show your modified right here if you cannot do an ankle connect. Come to a crouch, and then you will stand up and try to take that back leg up. This is a beautiful hamstring stretch on that stationary leg. Okay, your advanced version, your crouch or your connect, ankle connect, and then straighten up and stretch for a split pose. Okay, breathe in, come back down, and then exhale, straighten your leg again. Lift your back leg up to the ceiling. Back down, ankle connect or a crouch. Straighten back up to the ceiling. So this is your third or fourth time. We're going for about eight of them. Back down, bring it down. Crouch or connect. Straighten up. Again, back down, you can crouch or ankle connect. If you're getting head rushes, lift your face on this part, straighten your legs, heel comes back down. Let's do about three more if you can. Crouch or connect. Straighten up that front leg, should be feeling better. And challenge your back leg, lift it up or you can pulse as you come up. Two more times, back down. Breathe out, straighten that leg and stretch. If you can take more, come folding over that leg. Back down, last time, connect. And straighten your back leg. Okay, now you're gonna take that leg that is up, put it all the way to the back of the mat, cross your forward leg in front of you for a seated pigeon. Stay high here. And I'm keeping you high because I want to keep moving. Lift your chest up, drop your shoulders. You can lengthen the lower half over the mat and deepen this right up even while you're seated here. So now you're going to combine all of that on this side. Okay, both hands coming a little forward, tuck that back foot under you. Foot comes right down, you're gonna drop that back knee. Both arms up, this is very familiar now. One arm to the ceiling, one arm long over that mat. Four, three, two, take that back hand right down to the floor. Twisting stretch. Both hands down to the mat. Pull yourself forward to an ankle connect or a crouch. Straighten your front leg and lift your back leg up. Folding over if you can, or you can do an opposite hand hold behind the calf for balance. Bend your front leg, step your back leg back. Cross your front leg in front for a high seated pigeon. Hold. Okay, we have one more set. We'll do a third set and then we'll do this on the other side. your front leg stationary in front of you again. Drop that back knee. Inhale, exhale, breathe up or up and back. Take one arm to the ceiling. That back arm is reaching over that leg. Back arm comes down and open up here. Both hands to the mat. Pull through an ankle connect or a crouch. Straighten your front leg for split pose. Deepen it as much as you would like. Last eight, seven, six. We're gonna be switching sides after your pigeon here. Bend your front leg to step your right or back leg back and then for your seated pigeon. Give it eight more counts. We're going to switch sides and move on. Last five, four, three. Okay, let's come up. 
We're going to get back into plank so you can switch sides. Give your core a few seconds of work here. Eight, seven. So you're going to be working with that opposite side. We're going to go over your stretching for a quick second there. Step your opposite foot through. You're taking a knee. Breathe out, reach up or up and back. Okay, that front leg, that same arm is up to the ceiling and the opposite arm is reaching up to meet a parallel line with your back leg. Bring that arm back down to the mat, up on that back foot, reach to the ceiling. We're going to introduce your split pose here on this leg. Remember your modification, so you can go ahead and put both hands down, a little more forward. Your modification is a crouch. So start checking yourself out, see where you would like to work here. Come up on the one leg, and your back leg is trying to come up. For some people, you might look like this. You might be looking up at the screen and figuring out what the heck is going on. Do it, you can pause it, just watch before you try or keep practicing. Back down, and then your ankle connector here. Straighten your front leg again. So you wanna be getting into that hamstring back there. You can add more by pressing your chest closer to your leg. This is all gonna depend on your abilities or how tight you might feel each day. Come back down and crouch or connect. So your modified version is right here. And if you get head rushes, pick up your face here. Back up to straightening out that front leg. So you imagine you're doing a split to the wall that is behind you. A front back split. Back down to connect. We're looking for about eight of these. This is the fourth one to start. Straighten your leg. Stretch. As you get going with these, see what else you can slowly add. Again, coming closer to your own leg will add a lot. Back down to connect. Four. Three. Great chance to lift your face if you need it. Straighten the leg. This is your fifth time. We're looking for three more repetitions. Back down. Crouch or connect. Straighten that front leg. Heel to the floor. Two more. Down. Straighten that front leg. Lift your back leg up or pulse it. Come back down. It's your last one. And up. Hold the stretch. Now, if you wanted to do a counterbalance, here would be your chance. One hand to the calf, one hand to the floor. You would be on two points. That's great. Okay, let's bend your front leg, step your opposite leg back, and you get to try out your first high pigeon here on this side. Again, I'm keeping us up to keep us hot um, so we don't come too still in our stretches, but you get that work, stretch, work, stretch feeling. Remember to lift your chest forward and shoulders down. Now you're going to combine the set. Both hands down. That first foot comes back in the front there, or that front foot comes back up. So you're taking a knee, reach up, or up and back. You're doing three rounds of this. That one arm to the ceiling over that front leg, and the other arm reaching over your back leg. So we have five counts. Four, three, two. That hand comes down. Twist open. And both hands down. So now you're going to pull forward and connect. Straighten your front leg. Drop that heel. Reach your back leg up to the ceiling. Think of it. Get those visuals. And now bend your front leg. Step your back leg back farther. And seated pigeon. You have two more rounds. Eight more counts, and this front leg is going to be planted again. You know the set now. 
All right, both hands down. Put your foot right in between your hands. Back leg come down. Relax the top of the foot. Breathe up or up and out and back behind you. One arm up. Twist open. Relax your shoulders. One hand comes back down to that front of the mat. Twist open. Last three, two, both hands down. Pull forward to that ankle connect or crouch. Straighten that front leg. Stretch out your hamstring. Five, four, three, two. Put that back leg back and your high pigeon. We have one more round. Okay, both hands down, take that foot right in between. Drop to that knee, top of the foot comes to the mat. Reach up or up in that. One arm is up, one arm is long behind you. And then bring that long arm back to the mat, twist open. Get ready for your crouch or ankle connect. Go ahead and set into that. And straighten that front leg. Lift your back leg up. You have four, three, two. Set that foot back and you can hit your high pigeon. Okay, now let's get both hands back down in front of you and come to your plank. Plank, plank, plank as often as you can. I'm gonna finish out with a little bit of work here. You don't have to do this. It's gonna be a little bit of cardio. So you're going to modified version. You're going to step up, step up, sit, stand up. That's a really slow burpee, right? So you can step down, step back, hold your plank. You can step up and stand up, okay? So down, back, up, stand. Down, back, up, stand. Down, back, up, nice and tall. Down, back, up, try to be soft if you are jumping these back. You don't wanna hear yourself land. Protect your joints. Down, back, up. What you don't want is here, dunking, and all that saggy form. Okay, so we're down, back, up. Again, down, back, up. A few more. that plank, push your chest forward, straight ahead, right there as you're standing up. Look forward as you stand. Four more, four, if you're jumping. If you're stepping these out, you have one more. Two more. If you're going at this pace, last one. Okay, make an X, opposite hand to foot. Then exhale, stand up, make that X, opposite hand to foot. And make that X, now arms up right to the center, hold this, and then open your legs. So it's your opener here. Um, I'm gonna put my hands down a little deeper and just hold. It's your depth. So I just let people finish at their own pace in my classes. Um, everyone always looks different in every stretch. You just want to get that proper alignment. Feel your inner thighs here. 
with a little bit of hamstring. And then let's slowly come up off those hands and just pick a side to go to. So I'm gonna angle my foot and just go to my right, so it's your left, and this is great through that hamstring again. We're finishing up here. So on the same side, bend that leg and take that arm up and reach. Get your side bend here. Try not to bring that arm in front. Stay clean on the sidelines. And then we're gonna come right back down, come down through the center, get to your other side. So I'm opening my foot off to an angle and getting long over that leg. So instead of inner thigh, you should be back on hamstring. And then bend that leg so you can press through that heel and you get the side bend on the other side. Okay, come center, walk those feet in and you are done. Have a great rest of your day.